which sets Jarvan, you know? How does set do anything if you're in there? Uh, I think Nico falls under that scope as well, unless she has flash. So if Diego's gonna get picked up for Yankos, no surprise there. The Sunderer will do really well. No smite on Yankos, so he might lose this Krug if she doesn't get in range. Sure, it does get in range. Is <laughs> able to steal away Krugs? I was looking out, but it's Winter's Wrath, the W. It used to be called the Flail, as Shao now trading with Yankos. Oh, aggressive dashing forward. Sun's gonna connect on Yankos. Q3 from oh. <laughs> Evie will knock them oh. back. And What's going on? Kegatrol <laughs> is doing a bit of owing as we see a one for one trade in the top lane. Aggressivo trying to trade back onto Yankos, but Yankos has stolen away the stun. And with VTO coming in, this will be a gifted kill over to the Nico. Team Heretics 2 1 to the good. Play out this control ward. You can see Flackard and Mercer moving up first. The buff takes a little bit of damage there, but can use the cozy campfire to heal him Might up. Might be in trouble though. Look at Sejuani. I'm gonna try and collapse. No flash. Flacker does have the cleanse. Glacial Prism yes. dodge. Doesn't have to use the cleanse yet. Yankos trading up towards the top side as he stuns out Nuke. Good stun onto Flacker. There's the first killer as Crowny starts to get excited. Oh. Bob Blossom hits three. The block flashes away from it. And now they're trying to put the damage down onto Crowny. It's a double already for Heretics. And BTO's on the chase. He wants more out of this. Sheo has to flash the wall. But the chase forward with the Heartbreaker and Ayumi on his shoulder. Yankos once more. He can smell blood in the water. Mercer needs to snipe him. And he does. Meow. Says Marissa. That's uh, this as well. So is the Jinx ult gonna steal it? Yes or no? The R, yeah, from Jinx. No. Ooh, like like let me tell you how much a beaver is. <laughs> <laughs> I got a beaver on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Yankos, although he's up a honey badger right now, might be down the creek without a paddle. He's caught out by sauce. It's an idiot sandwich. No, it wasn't. <laughs> down. Down. So let's see if this. I don't know if the tower is going to die. I need to hit this a few more. Oh, the, the reversal sandwich. <laughs> ah, it's two buns on top of each other. <laughs> Wait, is it a hot dog? As Aggressivo comes in, we don't know if that's a sandwich. Yankos almost falls. Does the pop blossom coming out as Crowny cleansed away? He tries Ooh, to escape. Flagged. Nuke taking a ton of damage from the shurikens though. And the Riptail did get a charge in, but the same. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one out there. It's got your name half of it. Is it? <laughs> at, at Captain Flowers for that one. Yumi? Oh, what? Yumiception? <laughs> Yumiception? It's like so, when you, um, do you have, you don't have cats, right? No. I have two cats. And when one of them sits on you, the other must sit on your side back, right? Could be a helicopter blossom. Flackett knows someone's top. Oh, uh, sorry. Good uh, ultimate from the Nico. Oh, you good ultimate from Nico. Flackett, no cleanse. No cleanse. Does have the flash. Ah, Super Mega Death Rocket. Not enough. Glacial Prism for the follow up. And Flackett will fall TP in by Heretics as they look to collapse on this play in the top lane. Ebby joining the fight. Aggressiva, no TP on him as he walks through the mid lane. Sheo trying to back away. Good knockback as well with the scatter of the week. Yankos gets a stun off though. Nice. That well, means they can push in and take the tower. And now all of a sudden, Heretics have lost so much on the map. It's basically the reverse of the bot lane play that we saw a few Subbed in, he's actually looking for plays on top of plays. Dragon Sheo tries to sit it away, but Yankos secures it with the smite. Aggressivo coming in from the side as well. He'll pop the ultimate as he dives onto the back line. Yankos diving away, has oh the Yumi on his shoulders, but the damage from Nuke is insane, and BDS collapse in the bottom lane. Two kills to them. They yeah, do Join out. I mean, these plays that Heretics are trying to force. So I feel like BDS are throwing punches on, by the way. Like, he's just on top of everyone. Not doing, any, not taking any damage, has the stride breaker. Maybe. Is he just gonna, Maybe. he's just gonna pull Crowny back. Man, imagine being an AD carry in the year of our Lord 2023. Maybe. Flash away what? by Crowny, he'll survive. What just, did he just? But he burned Breath of Light and the Flash to get away. Ebi now trading onto Sheo. Breath of Light. Best of life, in fact, as the knockback comes out with the all out. Aggressivo locked up in place, almost falls, but Ooh, manages to dodge away. Yankos turning back into this fight. BTO coming forward. Pop Blossom, oh. Flash, he finds two. And everything was invested in getting Crowny out safely. The rest of BDS were out of position. And Heretic struck. Beautiful setup there by VTO. That should translate into a Baron. VTO. Of course. Yankos. No, that was VTO. Yankos! Oh, it's just too damn good. Mercer steals the kill. I thought that was VTO on Cinder. He to full. I think he just TP'd back to bot to get this tower. He's going to get it. He's going to have to fight off Ebi, though. He doesn't have the ultimate, so. Should be alright, right. but yeah, BDS way too split. Aggressivo took so much damage from the pullback. And Nuke caught out of position next to Shio. Nice flash by Vitio. It's really hard to react to that. The fact that you can like ult. He saw the montage in his eyes and he went for it. Mm -hmm. Full sense. Yeah, Nico not doing too well in the LEC here, but Heretics are. Split push coming in from Vitio. 1 4 setup. BDS are full committing to defending. They are going to though. I mean, we said when the second dragon was taken, this would be a pivotal moment in the game. Ebi on a flank will catch Lebrov. 
does still have that flash. Dragon down to 1,000 HP and it's secured by Yankos. Aggressivo and Show in the pit. BTO looking for a flank position and already flank has taken down one. Aggressivo falls. Sheo tries to get away but he can't escape the clutches of BTO. And now Lebron Nuke and Crown, he don't have a front line to work with and Yankos is looking for blood. Nuke's already down. Ebi locks up the Melio against the wall. That's for family. As four for naught, Team Heretics win out the fight. Wave is kind of far away. Looks like the base is coming in from VTO. He has to teleport. 30 seconds on Nuke. Crown is up. Not sure if they can end here, Heretics, but they'll definitely get the Bolt Inhibitor and they're on sole points right now, so they're sitting very pretty in this game. Should be able to close this one out relatively easily. BDS just don't have any damage. They split up so much. The more mind games just get in there and just straight up 5v5 with VTO. What is he going to turn into? Maybe he can look to, yeah, go into Yankos. Go around the side, try to threaten BDS off to a Yank the flank. Who's going to get 50 50 the 50-50 so far? And he'll do it again! The Inferno oh so secured for Heretics. BTO looking for that flank position. Mercer's already on a killing spree on the Yarmus Baron, it's gone. It is gone. I think Shio can maybe look to steal, but it's going down so quick. They don't know how quickly it is falling, and the Baron now secured. BTO looking for that flank once again. Ebi just running forward. No one does damage to this man! Kasante, a literal brick wall yep. in the face of BDS, and Heretics. Don't have a wave here, but are going to be able to get the tier 2. You can see it's been a pretty one-sided game ever since the dragon fights kind of happened. It was more so heretics in this game, but perhaps should be a little bit more cautious around the Nico. Yeah, maybe Vito needs to TP base and TP soon. He's getting chunked out a little bit. But he's just going to wrap around to bot, maybe look to turn into one of the minions. You know, 1-4 setup. Oh, a flank it. He's just going to whiff the ult. Doesn't matter too much. Vito flashes away, the Mikhail's going to... Shield him up as well, and what? that's the damage from Blackhead. What? Rips Sheo to shreds. Nuke's gonna fall as well. Uh. They're just stepping up and being knocked down like bowling pins. A strike for Heretics as they found gold. And they will be taking the gold in this game as well. Double inhibitors down already. Right, Hannah so. Minion pushing in the mid lane. Baron buff has, well, it's just about to expire, I believe. Hasn't quite yet. They'll continue to push in. It's got a quarter of its timer left, and that's all they need. Nexus Towers down, and Heretics will claim their first win of the week and their fourth of the split. So they're sitting at four and two now. I think they'll be around second, third place, depending on how the games today shape mm -hmm. up.